Okay, um, we're going to go to our next question that comes from Michael from Jackson. You're on the line, and welcome to Law Call. Ask your question now, Michael. Okay, um, I just recently um, left the hospital, and prior to that, I was told that I have a cancer on one of my lungs. So she had me to um, go through all the different um, CAT scan procedures, and she told me, get ready, three months later, you'll have your surgery. So this Tuesday, I went in, got prepped up, and they showed me all sorts of medicine. She had the cancer spread throughout my body, or she had the cancer grow. And so once I've been in the room and I got transferred, I was about to get ready to go into the um, surgery room. Then he told me, he came in, the doctor was like, well, you don't have cancer, you have a nodule. And I told him, you know, I thank him I didn't have it. And he had me going through anxiety, had me depressed, had me taking that medication, being in that room for like two hours. And I lost weight behind that. And come to find out, when I left, I saw feeling sick from the medicine they injected in me that I had to be in that room for two hours. And come find out, I didn't have cancer, and I lost weight going through anxiety. So what should I do about that? Thank you for your call, Michael, and thanks for sharing your story. Uh, my mouth dropped when I heard that, but I'm going to let our experts here, our attorneys, uh, answer your question. Ken, what are your thoughts about his question there? Well, first of all, Michael, I'm sorry you, you've gone through that. It does sound like a terrible experience, and I appreciate you calling. Um, these, the, unfortunately, you know, sometimes cancer is, is, is misdiagnosed, and, and when, when you have cancer, it's misdiagnosed. In this case, somehow there were some tests where they thought that you had cancer. We'd have to look at the specifics of the records to see what you went through. It sounded like the last test you had, it might have been a PET scan or or some sort of, of, of study i'm not not sure but the bottom line in a case like this is that is that you need to get an attorney to look at the records and see specifically what the doctors were doing and how they had reached that conclusion and for three months treated you up until the the final study which showed that you did not have cancer okay did you want to add anything Seth? No, I, and Michael, I, I am so happy you don't have cancer, and like Ken said, I'm sorry that you went through it, but yeah, I agree. I, I think if there's anything to be done, you're going to have to talk to a doc, you know, talk to an attorney who will consult with a, uh, another healthcare care professional to see whether the physicians who actually treated you and misdiagnosed you breached that, that standard. Yeah, and I imagine you see similar situations of just, well, in, in, in your uh, uh, expertise of the law, um, I just want to make sure if everyone at, at home remembers that your personal injury <laughs> at the same time. So, right. you know, you're, you're listening and responding just like me, just, you know, um, in this case. But any, when, uh, is there anything about his story that sticks out when you think about personal injury? You know, not, not necessarily. I think that, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's unfortunate and it kind of goes back to what Ken said. You know, the statistics that Ken just gave were, they really were eye-popping. And so, you know, you he see and hear about these misdiagnoses over and over and over again, and it's really kind of troubling. But, you know, from a personal injury standpoint, no. From just a human standpoint who also, you know, will have to go see a doctor at some point sometime, it's clearly disturbing. Okay.